What's your top five snacks? Peach rings. Crunch. Crunch bars? You're so fucking. But it's so like basic, like it's literally just chocolate nah. and crunch. Cr- I can make you a crunch bar right now. No, you cannot. I literally you be fucking ass pack. What do you mean? But, uh, <laughs> yo, yo, yo! Welcome back to another episode of No Regrets Podcast. Episode number. Do you want to guess what episode is, my brother? <laughs> no, uh, one sixty three. God damn. One fifty two. Um, well, you getting closer? It's one fifty one. No. <laughs> 147. Damn. Episode 147. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. If you enjoy watching and listening to our podcast every single day or every single week, subscribe, comment, post notifications. You know what I'm saying? I got him here with my brother again. I haven't seen him in a minute. JR back in the building. He's been, he had a hiatus. I don't know where he's been at. <laughs> don't act like that. What you mean? This I've guy, been here. He's just been enjoying life. You know what I'm saying? I try. But yeah, like I said, subscribe to our Patreon. We got a lot of new uh, exclusive episodes on there. A lot more shows going on there. We got a lot of game shows going on there. We got a lot of um, mukbangs also. Me and Fritz are doing a mukbang tomorrow. And yeah. Is there anything else you got to say? Yeah, that's about it. We got a lot of stuff to talk about in this pod. We're going to talk about UFC. We haven't talked about UFC on this pod, but Jason is the only one that of the guys that really watches UFC like that. So we can actually have good conversations about it. We got some ghost stories to talk about. And we also got some games and would you rather questions like usual. But Jason, so I want to talk about the UFC. I know I talked to you about it uh, a couple of days ago. What was it? UFC? What was that? 303. UFC 303, bro. Mm-hmm. Alex Pera, two time, two, was it? Weight class champion. Bro. Yeah. Knocked the dude out in six minutes. Yeah. See, now, you know, before, right, I was hearing all the hype. He was, the people have been saying he was top 10 for a minute. When I seen that, I was like, you know, that's kind of crazy. But now I'm starting to look at it. Dude wasn't even tired. No, I mean to him it's no challenge. I mean he did um he was kickboxing before this. Yeah, That's yeah, where yeah, Izzy yeah. came from as mm-hmm. well. Obviously they he have beat. their whole rivalry, but no, he's like he's a demon. He's just a he's like a human golem, bro. He doesn't get tired. He don't get. T- it looked like he's not like this is the first person I've seen since like John Jones that's really not trying when it comes to some of the fightings. But John Jones though, I know a lot of people have been saying like he's gonna fight John Jones a heavyweight, but John Jones came out. He said something about like he wants to fight Steep A first as like, like a. I mean, you know how he wants to be. Let me not call him a pussy because they really beat the fuck out of me. But like, <laughs> yo, no, nah, I mean, because people are saying obviously they want Alex versus John, which why wouldn't we want that? I that think would be bread, I'm bro. gonna be honest with you. John's really good, but Alex is a fucking demon. First and foremost, yeah, John's the best pound for pound fighter right now, but he's mm-hmm. not active. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't discredit anything that he's done. But mm-hmm. what have you done in the last year? This dude's fought like. I want to say like four or five times this year alone. This year alone, bro. Like he's fought hella, hella. I may, I may be gassing it a little bit. No, but it's, yeah, it's, dude. it was a good amount though. Yeah. And that's what I'm saying. It's like, you know, John Jones, I think he's actually, number. they put up the pound for pound list. He's actually number three. It's, uh, it's Islam, Islam right? one, Pereira, then John Jones. Really? Yeah. So he moved down two spots after the prayer goes. Good. Up. But I didn't know how old uh, Pereira was that old because I did forget he was in kickboxing. Yeah, so he was doing kickboxing a lot. He's like, he's pushing like 40. That and uh, Like, I think he's like 35, 36. So he only got, what, maybe two, like maybe two years left? No, nah, he goes as long as he wants. There's fighters that stayed until like they were 40, like fucking Luke Rockhold and stuff. But, uh, um, but like, would he, would you think he would want to, bro? I mean, if they if they paying him stupid, bro, I can't I see him doing anything else. I think it's literally just a human boulder just walking around, like made to just kill people. Really, like it's, it's a demon. Just, there's like honestly, that whole fight with him and John Jones when he goes up to heavyweight. Imagine that if he wins three belts in three different weight classes is OD in a span of what? Now he'd be the greatest of all time. Now he has. He to really be. would be the greatest of all time. But I, do you think he could beat John Jones? Oh, uh, everybody says that he can't grapple. Right, but yeah. we haven't really seen him grapple all too much. Um, mm-hmm. But, and it's not like people haven't tried. They just literally cannot take him down. Like They can't find the space to do it. But I feel like John Jones is... He'll find a way. Yeah, and I don't know if that's going to be the issue. But even then, if it's straight hands, I'm going to be honest. I think, I mean, Alex Pereira got it, to you be honest. So? His left hand's like, his, apparently his, like, the force of his left hand is, like, ridiculous. And like, it doesn't ridiculous. even look like he swings that hard, no. bro. Same with his kicks. He doesn't kick properly either. Like, that shit is crazy to me. Like, I be seeing I be seeing all the left hooks. It looks like he just hits, he like, goes, with a nudge, like bro. That, yeah. Oh, my. And it really kills people. It yeah. kills people. Literally, bro. What he did to, um, what's dude's name? Uh, Jamal Hill. Jamal Hill. That was OD, bro. That was crazy work. That was OD, He bro. got nut kicked, so... Nah, and then on. just left hook them immediately. That was crazy. And then I was seeing, I was watching an interview with uh, Jamal Hill. He was talking about some man. You know, 
as soon as I hit him in the, like the nut checked him, he he put his hands up. So you know, I put my guard down a little bit. I'm like, bro, get the hell out of here. You would got destroyed anyways, bro. Bro, I will never underestimate Alex Pereira again. I only did because I mess with I mess with Izzy so much. So that's why I was kind of like you know not paying attention to him so much. And I knew they they had the whole storyline going on. But I didn't want them. Alex to be great either. I, I really didn't, didn't want but to. But he bro. just is. He really just is. Like at this point, you have to like really acknowledge that this is OD. Like this. Shama. This is not no. This is not normal. And I feel like. And a lot of people, I, I seen this going around the internet too when I was going like uh, looking up the UFC stuff. They were saying him versus Prime John Jones, Alex Pereira versus Prime John Jones. No, nah, I think John Jones got it. Nah, I think John Jones is a fucking demon. I think people demon. really forget how crazy he used to be. Nah, he was a demon. Because at the end of the day, like Alex Pereira, he got the striking, but John Jones' striking was OD. He was everything. He, he, he had, had everything. The backhand elbow or the spinning elbows, the flying knees. Like when he used to beat, he used to beat up on Daniel Cormier. Yeah, no, DC is obviously a great fighter, good, like big dude, strong as fuck. He said that he wanted to cry off his kick. Yes, bro. he wanted to cry. Oh, I can't, yeah. bro. I can. I think if Alex Perry would get a, like a knee to the to the rib cage or a kick to the rib cage, he's gonna be done after that. I don't know. I've never seen Alex Perry look like like he's in pain at all. Even when he lost to Izzy, he didn't look like he was in pain. That at was all. just like a like a shocker. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But that would be a great fight. I ain't gonna lie. But if they do John Jones versus Alex Perry. That fight will make so much money. Oh, it's stupid, bro. Like, I feel like... Stupid, bro. This is what's going to happen. I think John Jones is... Well, he's already fighting. Is he already fighting on 309, I think? I have no idea. I think he's fighting Stipe at 309. So, after that, he... The thing is, right? John Jones is like, all right, if I, I'll fight Alex Pereira, but I want... he Alex Pereira has to fight um Tom Aspinall first. Which I'm like, what is the point of that? It's stupid. John Jones is... Oh, you know, he's, John Jones. he's just trying to, you know... Give himself some more time, which I, yeah. I understand. You getting old, you're not like how you used to be. You freaking what tours? I think you tours ACL or some shit like that. So he's he got some time, but like still, that fight that'll probably be the biggest fight since like the Connor and uh, Khabib fight. Yeah, it gotta be. Yeah, no, that'd be fucking great, dude. I, that'd be amazing, but I don't think it'll happen anytime soon, unfortunately. Yeah, I know. We'll see, man. What what really got you into UFC? <laughs> Oh, yeah. I remember. <laughs> a friend. Yeah, a friend got the <laughs> UFC. Because I know, I started watching UFC because, I honestly started watching it because I remember I seen like an Izzy clip and he, they were saying like something about Style Bender. I was like, hold on, this shit kind of cool. And then I seen, I was watching that one fight when he was fighting um Kevin Gaslam mm-hmm. and he was about to lose and then he told himself like, I'm going to die in this motherfucker. I was like, you yeah. know what? That kind of motivated me. No, Izzy's the truth. He brought a lot of people to the UFC with this whole like doing anime, doing whatever he wanted mm-hmm. and also being one of the best fighters. But, and well, he's probably on his way out soon too, bro. Because he's getting up there in age. He's probably around like I think he's like thirty five. Yeah, he said he's on a long break, but Lord knows when the fuck he's coming back. You know how it is, bro. I feel like I mean with UFC fighters, I would take as long as I possibly can. Like these, there's some dudes that be fighting like like the ones that you said like four or five fights a year. That's OD. I mean, yeah, no, it kills you over time. Oh, I don't know if you know, you know who Alexander Volkanovski is. Mm-hmm, yeah. He's my favorite fighter of all time. He really is. I love him to death. But, dude, he tried to fight just way too much. Yeah. And you see what happened, bro. Islam. Mm-hmm. Islam. Out, yeah. And then Spaniard came in and fucked him up. Hasn't fought since, so. Like, that's so... that That's... I feel like if I was a fighter, I will try... Unless Dana's really offering me the bag. Like, two, three max. Like, I remember there's... There was, um... What's his name? The one dude that, uh... Robert Whitaker fought recently... Because he had to, he had to call him in or whatever. Mm-hmm. I forgot. It was one of the Russian dudes that be with Khabib, bro. He called him short notice, freaking knocked him out within the first like two minutes, bro. Like that, I I can't be that, bro. Hell no. There was um dude on this card. I didn't see the fight. Um, I think it was um the fight right before the women's fight or after the women's fight. I think he got four days notice. Four days notice. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. See, that's crazy. And he won. He won. Oh wow, really? Yeah. See, that's what I'm saying because I feel like I feel like in UFC like there's different levels of like preparation. Like of course, you know, you got to do your drills and like training or whatever, but you also got to like study. And I feel like a lot yeah, of Yeah, you have to watch all the tape. You got to watch mad tape, but I feel like 4 days, I don't think you're going to watch enough tape unless it's a fighter that's not really like OD crazy. Like especially like if somebody called me up like saying like, "Oh, fight uh uh what's his name? Justin Gaethje. In, hell no. in a week you're crazy as hell, <laughs> hell no. you are crazy as hell you seen what he did to freaking ferguson bro tony ferguson bro well tony ferguson's also that dude needs to retire I yes i know last fight. he's yes. getting abused yes. really badly, they're gonna but... do him like they did freaking tyron woodley bro and just cut his ass because... they should because i mean he's 
Just been losing, bro. Yeah, getting shit on. Bro, he bad. got his ass whooped, bro. That was so bad. Like, you heard the punches, because, <laughs> like, you heard the clicks of him just punching him in the school. I was like, nah, that's like, that's where, he didn't even get knocked out. They, was, they had to tell him, like, nah, bro, you done. Yeah. But, nah, if anybody ever called me up, I remember, they, I think they was talking about, there's a new, uh, there's an up-and-coming guy from the U.S. He was, like, a wrestler, Bo Nickel. You heard yeah, of Bo, Bo Nickel? Nickel. He, he was supposed to fight, um... Uh, what's I think Robert Whitaker, but he said he was in the mountains of Montana with no service. So the time he <laughs> as soon as he got back down, he was like it was already too late. <clears throat> but I don't know. I feel like there's a lot like UFC is starting to get a lot more popular, especially with social media. Good. And I'm glad it's you know, I'm glad it's getting to a point where it's a lot more popular because it's actually pretty fun to watch. Yeah, more mainstream. It's great. I mean, I think it's better than any of your other boring ass sports like that. Ba- I'm. I think it's hey, bad. He's fuck basketball. Fuck Why do you football. think basketball is boring? This is. I mean, look at Jason. Fuck Jason Tatum. Bro. Honestly, he just. <laughs> what the hell? Again, I don't like basketball to begin with, and I saw the clips of Jason Tatum. Okay, really yeah. don't like basketball. That, that does not. They justify. got niggas like him getting three hundred and fifteen million dollar deals, and yeah. he's doing the cringe after winning. Fuck all that, bro. Basketball <laughs> See, can't be that good. That's not a good video to watch if you want to get into basketball because he really tried so hard. That was so cringe. It was so fucking cringe. What he, he people keep on calling him nineteen. I don't get the joke. I look at the comments and say, he did all this at 19. What, I don't get it. Because I think they're saying, like, the way he acts is like uh, a kid. Yeah. Because, like, <laughs> like, he always tries to, like, model his game after people. Because, like, like, what, like, he loves Kobe. So they were saying, like, yeah, he's like a little 19-year-old kid when he sees Kobe the first time. Like, they said, he ne- like, when he won the championship, he didn't let that thing go, bro. Like, even in the locker room, he was just taking bad flicks with it. And he didn't <laughs> pass it to nobody. Yo, J- bro, Jalen Brown won... Uh, yeah, finals MVP, MVP. and yeah. he didn't even get the chance. To, he has no pictures with that trophy, bro, in that locker room. No, I didn't see one picture. Work. That's crazy. Everything work. is Jason Tatum. Uh, Jason Tatum saying we uh, we did it. Which we he did tr- it. he tried. We so- did it. <laughs> he tried so hard to make like a memorable finals moment, which I understand. But like, you gotta let it come naturally. Then how about you just do anything that isn't everybody else's finals moment? Like he tried to be like KG. Like it was so bad. Maybe the one thing he did, he got he had him and his son with the flick in the air. That was kind of cool. He's gonna, I didn't see that. Like All he had a, seen is the same shit. There was a picture of him like throwing his son up in the air, like when the confetti comes down. That look, it was kind of fire. Like I would frame that forever. But other than that, bro, nah, hell no. That Jason Tatum is just too cringy for me, bro. I don't know. But yeah, I'm I'm just glad UFC because honestly, the only the other thing the only thing other than like UFC that's like fighting is like boxing and boxing but to I me it's kind of boring. That's bro. what I'm saying. Boxing's not that cool to me. Like a lot a lot of people like watching boxing. I'm like. The only reason I watched boxing was because, like, like Manny Pacquiao. I'm not even going to yeah. know. Because it's, like, a lot of Filipino people don't really have, like, like big names in sports. So, when Manny Pacquiao was going around, bro, when he's fighting Mayweather, there was a whole party, bro. Yeah. So, that was the only reason why I would just watch it. But I didn't really understand. So, it wasn't as, like, cool to me. Because, you know, this, this is, like, different. Like, it's not just, like, boxing. It's boxing, uh, kickboxing, ta- uh, taekwondo, whatever, uh, jiu-jitsu and stuff. So, there's a whole lot more aspects to it. So, there's a lot more... Uh, what's that called? Oh shoot! There's a lot more possibilities of things that could happen, so I feel like I'm glad that UFC is starting to get more traction. And there's even a lot. You ever um, you ever watch bare knuckle fighting? Dude, that shit is gnarly as fuck. You know MVP? Um, yes. The dude who was just yes. on the car. Yeah, he used to bare knuckle. Well, not used to. He he bare knuckle something. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. I thought he did. Yeah. I thought he just did kickbox kickboxing. No, MVP has been in like a different. He's been in a different like MMA league. He did bare knuckle. Wow. Now he's in the UFC. Like, I remember, uh, what's his name was talking about it? Not Ram, Was it Rampage Jackson? It was somebody. He was talking about, like, he would never do that because, one, your hands is going to, like, you have to, like, train your hands to f- punching skulls, like, constantly. And plus, you're going to mess your face up. I'm not even No, actually, like, it's almost, <laughs> it's almost nasty to watch. Like, I almost don't watch a lot of those fights because, again, they get nasty. That's what I'm saying. And I was surprised nasty. when, what's his name was doing that TikToker? Uh, Bryce Hall was doing? Yeah. I'm like, hold on. He's doing... Bare knuckle fighting, like he didn't do no boxing. I mean, I think he did boxing for a little bit, but he went straight to Doesn't bare knuckle. Bare knuckles insane, like actually I, insane. I would never, do, I won't do that. How about how about the uh, the slap boxing thing? People think it's stupid. I think it's entertaining. I think I mean, it's pretty I don't entertaining. Think it's anything more to be entertaining? I mean, just it's entertainment. Yeah, people I feel think like it's stupid, but I don't think it's that. I, I've seen a lot dumber things. You've seen? You ever seen a, a car seat? Jiu-jitsu? Yes, it's not. That, now, that's <laughs> stupid. They start with their seatbelts buckled. And yes, everything. bro. I seen car seat jiu-jitsu. I seen freaking um, uh, foam booth boxing. You've seen that before? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Th- like, that's some dumb stuff. But at least, like, slap box not that bad. They're going with the tire, too, where they have to, like, dunk 
three fourths of the body in the tire. Like they just wrestle out. Like there's a stack of tires. Yeah. They wrestle around it, and you have to put your opponent inside the tire. Into the tire. Yeah. What the hell? Yeah. Like, like just wrestle them and just throw them in there. Like you yeah. mean like a like the big tires? I'm guessing. Yeah, yeah. It's like I think it's like a stack. I don't know, or it's on top of something. You have to literally put three fourths of his body in there. Really? Yeah. How, as a grown ass man. How the hell will you let that? Unless like I'm knocked out and he picks me up. How no, it's, just straight, it's straight wrestling. Just straight wrestling. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds. How'd you? Where'd you find that at? It was Instagram, just like, Instagram. Really? That yeah. sounds so dumb, bro. Yeah, now that's, that's stupid. stupid. Like I've seen a lot. Like like I don't know. Like um because when I go to Jay's house, we be uh, her brother likes uh UFC, so we be watching a lot of um the UFC fights on like. Uh, what's that called? The Fire Stick. Mm-hmm. So there's some channels that you go through, bro. I've seen so much like dumb fighting things. Like that's where I found the the phone booth boxing, bro. Like you're literally in a phone booth just yeah, swinging. No room, yeah. No, no room, room just swinging. I'll be scared as hell. That's something I wouldn't do. Hell no. That phone booth box, phone booth boxing, bare mm-hmm. knuckle, and I mean anything in general. I ain't doing none of that shit. But I just yeah. feel like it's starting to get to a point where like there's a lot more fighting sports and I think that's kind of cool. That's fire. I don't know what I don't know what's the next one that's going to be. I, it's probably like what other ideas you think they're probably like is out there. Like I have no Fuck clue. Fuck if I know to be honest. I mean they're pretty much everything you could think of they probably already did it. I think you know what's really cool honestly um there's like back I think fuck I forgot what it's called. It's like a backyard league. Oh, the street the, beef. That's what yeah, it is. yeah, yeah. I see that. That one. should be getting kind of crazy. <laughs> Yo, that should be. But they have dying. insane matchups, like yeah, insane I know. fucking matches. Like a, like a sixty year old dude against yes. like a nineteen year old kid for no reason. Mm-hmm. Just getting shit on. You ever seen the one? It was like a it was like a actual fighter versus like somebody that just got over his addiction of meth. <laughs> like insane. it was like I'm like, where do you find these people? Like, it was literally an actual boxer versus a dude who was like ten, like two to three years sober of meth. Yeah, no, it's well. Also, there's a um, there's like weird shit in Europe too, where they just do insane matches, like two females versus like a big. Yes, dude. bro. And yeah. there's also the the famous bodybuilder. I think his name's Eddie Hall. Yes, Eddie Hall. Just fucking two little like <laughs> twins up or something, like destroying them. Like I'm like weirdly. Really? That was so funny, but now nah, he rocked that dude. Yeah, bro. it was bad. It and was bad. Now the one with the females though, I don't know yeah, whose idea crazy. that was. And I don't know who would want to sign up for that. That junk is od. Like he was actually beating them girls up. Yeah. And like. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't know. What the hell is this? Oh, he's trying, he wants the ball. But I just think, you know, imagine something where it's like, maybe in the pool. Nah, you can't be in the pool. You're going to drown. Somebody's going to die. In I there. mean, they have like mud wrestling. Mud sure. wrestling? Yeah, but that's like women shit, I think. Oh, okay. It's like old, old. Okay, okay. Yeah. That's like the, was it like, was it when like women was wearing like bikinis or something? Yeah, I'm pretty uh, sure that's like the whole idea of it. I, I know what know. that is. That's I like, think it's before my time, but. That's like the, what's that, what was that one league where it was like football with like women? Oh, oh lingerie. Lingerie fo- football yeah, league. lingerie football league. I ain't gonna lie, they had I that. was so scared to watch that as a kid, bro. I was such a pussy. Oh my God. Wait, why, God. You, why were you scared? <laughs> I wasn't allowed to see that, I don't think. I feel like, I, no one told me I wasn't, but like I feel like I wasn't allowed to, so. <laughs> I feel like, like I, I used to be like, like a like passing by, like you know when you like scroll through the yeah. channel, I see, you know, like a passing channel, I like watch it for like two, three plays, and then I'll go real quick. <laughs> but I just feel like, nah, that was like before it's time. That was going around now. They would probably make so much bread. Yeah, but they, you, I mean, they can't get away with shit like that now. You know how it is. Yeah, that's true. That's true. But it's like, I think they're making women's, there's like a women's football league now. It's not a good idea. I day. Look at the WNBA. Hey, I day, man. They try. They're going to get paid bags of chips and bottles of water. <laughs> like, it's not going to be good. I don't know, man. Like, I seen, like, I know, like, in high school, they're actually starting to do, um, like, what's it called? Women's flag football. I mean, but that's good. No, honestly, it's good, yeah. obviously. Good for an opportunity for women, but, like, Who's really signing? I can't imagine. Just out of my high school experience. Yeah, what, yeah. What, what, which one of those girls is going to sign up for high school, or flag football? It's, I think it's actually in, like, New Jersey. So, I don't know. I don't see anybody signing up for it, man. I don't know. Liv, can you give him that, that bone up there so he starts barking? What the hell wrong with this dog? But, yeah, I seen a lot of that. I seen um freaking, what's her name? Blue Face Girl was in a, a tackle football league. Yeah, I heard she didn't get played and she was pissed. Yes. She and wasn't she, getting enough minutes. She dipped out of there, bro. So, I don't know. I think there's going to be a lot, especially in the future, there's going to be a lot more different, like, sports like that. But not really with women, but just, like, you know, those fighting sports in general. Shit, that's good for me, because we're all going to get old and start eating TV dinners and watching sports. I'm not eating no TV dinners. That's yes, TV that you are, bro. <laughs> you keep talking about these TV dinners. I'm eating real food, bro. He's bugging out. You, we're not far off that age, You're bro. You're bugging out. Hell no. But, <clears throat> all right, I got a question to ask you. Since we were talking about UFC, I've been wanting to ask this question for a while. So, I have anime versus superheroes in UFC. So oh I'm boy, talking about bro. no oh powers, boy. 
straight hands, just straight abilities with the martial arts, with the combat skills. They're just going to bully me in the comments. You don't know about... <laughs> hey. Cringers, dude. Or they might be with you. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, So yeah. it's just three on three. I have three standard. We got Goku, Luffy, Naruto versus Batman, Black Panther, Wolverine. Who you think will win? No powers? No powers, just straight hands and just the ability to fight. You said Batman, Wolverine, who? Black Panther. Oh, damn. I hate to say it, but them? I was saying that low-key. 100%. Be- I mean, Batman by himself is fucking disgusting. Like, absolutely gross. Yeah. And then, um, damn, what's that racist? Fuck Black Panther. What does he know about martial arts? Yo, Prove first- me wrong. You're probably going to, oh my God, you didn't see comic book one, two. <laughs> Grow up, dude. <laughs> And then uh, Wolverine, I mean, all he does is fight with his hands, really, so. I was saying, like, Wolverine, too, because that dude been alive for how many years, and he learned so many different fighting techniques, so he got the experience alone. Black Panther, Loki, I didn't realize how underrated he was, because, one, even though he was going to be Black Panther because of his father or whatever, yeah. he still had to fight. No, yeah, no, I'm not saying he doesn't have hands, but compared to the other two people he's with in the ring. You think it's just, like, like yeah, Black it just Panther makes him look bad, yeah. It just makes him look bad? Yeah. So you, you think Spider-Man's better? I mean, he fights sheerly off instinct. If we're considering that a power, then no, no. I mean, not really. I feel like humans have like human instincts, or I mean, is he it does, like but it's a heightened sense. That, yeah, yeah. Okay. No, that's different. That's yeah. I, I feel like that's a power. And also, just the, I mean, Naruto has hands for sure, but relies too much on power. Mm-hmm. Goku. Goku looking go crazy. I was thinking but like it's maybe also just like his latent strength from you know his yeah. scaling in his universe and whatnot. But the strength is still there, though. The strength, oh, strength is, is still there. Is he? No, bro. Yeah, no, I'm saying, no, he kills everybody. That's what that. I'm thinking because he, he did, he was just mainly was od strong. If I put ridiculous. the strength, that'd be od. Yeah, no. Nah. Because these other dudes are just straight humans. Except, I mean, Wolverine type. Nah, he's not Goku. Wolverine strong, get obliterated. <laughs> he's not Goku strong. He get obliterated. obliterated. All right. Okay. So just just straight hands though. He just thinks though. Superheroes for sure then. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You think. What do you think Luffy doing? You think Luffy's just getting his ass kicked first? Who you yeah, think? I think Luffy's kind of mid. You think so? Honest. I mean, he has like crazy speed and shit like that, but what? Mm, speed might carry him a little. That's bit. what I'm thinking. Like he low, his hands low key kind of quick, dumb fast, like retardedly fast. But so, again, that's his power kind of kicking in there. But yeah, not superheroes guys. Still sure. superheroes. Yeah. Okay, okay. I right, bet. All right, oh, I got another. I got some games we could also play. So I got this one game. It's called. Guess who has the lowest net worth? So what's gonna so how it's gonna work is you get a so you're going to guess like I'm give you ten people, and you're gonna cross out who you think is not does not have the lowest net worth. And where every time you get one right, you get a point. So say if it's like Elon, so the last person that is on your board should be have the lowest net worth. Okay. All right. So I have the list for you, right here. Oh, that's right, John. Look at that. Yep. Sorry, John. So let me let me tell the people who's on this list <laughs> before we go. I think he seen you. You seen the one name I wrote down on there. So we have Green Arrow, Batman, Iron Man, Elon Musk, Doctor Doofenshmirtz, LeBron James, Messi, Black Panther, Mister Beast, and Beyonce. So Jason, who you think has the lowest net worth? Who you go cross off first? Um, Mister Beast. Mister Beast. All right, five hundred million. Jeez, fucking <laughs> oh my god. Um, Batman. Batman, nine point two billion. Billion. Yep. Holy shit. Iron Man for sure. Iron Man, twelve point four billion. Yeah. Elon Musk. Two point. I meant two hundred and fifteen billion, which is insane. How much money that is? <laughs> oh my god. Two hundred and fifteen billion. That is so much money, bro. Like I wish, bro. Uh, Black Panther. Black Panther, ninety trillion dollars. Okay, we're gassing. You gotta think about it. He <laughs> literally, gassing. look, look. You literally gotta think about it. He owns freaking one of the most advanced societies in the world, bro. True. With the most valuable piece of like resources in the world, bro. That's, That's bread. <laughs> um. So you got Green Arrow, Doctor Doofenshmirtz, LeBron, Messi, and Beyonce left. Messi. Messi, six hundred and fifty million. Yeah. <laughs> um LeBron. LeBron 1.2 billion. He's worth a billion. Yeah, yo, you know what I mean? He I know I think he owns like, you know, Blaze Pizza. He owns yeah, that. 
I never knew that. He owns Blaine's. What, what does he know about pizza? Bro, what does Shaq know about pizza? He got he all over Papa Shaq John's. Shaq knows everything about everything, bro. <laughs> Yo. Beyonce. Beyonce, 800 million. Okay. So now you're just down to Dr. Doofus and Green Arrow. I feel like I'm really neglecting Green Arrow because I don't know shit about him, but I think he's a bum. <laughs> um, and Dr. Doofus has to have kind of, some kind of money. He lives in the middle of a populated tri-state area and the tallest tower in that area with hella gadgets. <laughs> he's got to have good net worth. Fuck Green Arrow. I'm going to say Dr. Doofus first. Dr. Doofus and yeah. Uh, incorrect, brother. Doctor Doctor Doomfist merch is worth two hundred and ninety-two million dollars. Green Arrow is worth seven billion dollars. Get the fuck out! Of He's here. a philanthropist, bro. You didn't know that? You forgot about that? I don't even know what a philanthropist is. It's those people that like invest like all their money into stuff. That man, yo, him and Batman were the richest dudes in like DC, bro. He's so mad. <laughs> He's so mad. He's cooler than uh freaking Hawkeye. Absolutely. Well, I think Ronan's kind of cool, but definitely better. Yeah. I think. That's what I'm saying. But hey man, you was close. You you and Corey were the closest dude, closest ones when I played this game, bro. Corey because last time I How did How could you have possibly got down to anybody else? Nah, cause I did we did uh me and Corey did guess who uh, caught the most bodies. Like <laughs> killed the most freak. people. He wouldn't know that kind of shit. It, the last two, so weird. The last two people he came down to was SpongeBob and Jeffrey Dahmer. Yes. <laughs> Why would it not be SpongeBob? Nah, SpongeBob killed 113 people <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh i'm thinking insane work i'm not thinking about that kind of what you mean you think like he a killer or something no i didn't think about killer what you talking about i didn't think bodies in terms of like sex oh no. like, obviously jeffrey Dahmer has more but <laughs> yeah, okay, I see. no i bet like caught like as in like oh okay that's valid <laughs> then that's valid yo because because you had to take into account that Spongebob, like, got into a lot of car accidents. So a lot of those people might have died. They'd be doing things dirty. Exactly. Dirty. I think Jeffrey, Jeffrey Dahmer killed about, I think, like, 17 people. Mm -hmm. Allegedly. You know, he might have killed a lot more. Allegedly. You know how it'd be. But, um, oh, I got another, I got a question to ask you, bro. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I know you're, out of all, the, all my friends, I feel like you have a lot of knowledge when it comes to video games. Unfortunately, bro, I'm the virgin of the friend group, dude. <laughs> this guy is Free sick. Me. This guy is sick. But so, since you played a lot of games, what is one game that has never been made that you would want to be made? It could be based off like a superhero, based off an anime hero, anime character. Like, what type of game do you think will be good for I'm the people loser, to make? Though, bro. No one's gonna like relate. <laughs> what are you? Um, gonna... Well, that was growing up. I really wanted a Hunger Games. Like type of game, but then they tough. started coming out with like crazy battle royals, like Fortnite. Yeah, yeah. So I yeah. got that battle royale sort of thing. But I wanted like Hunger Games. Like, they did it with Minecraft, too cringe for me. Yeah, yeah. Never. <laughs> but that'd be sick, bro. None mm -hmm. of that gun shit, just straight, you know, like hands and like bones and bows yeah, and nails, like, and, like, like run to the middle stuff. if you want or not. That'd be heat with some customization. I was thinking about that too. I was thinking of low key, like a like a GTA type of world, but like zombies. That'd be heat, bro. Like I mean, they have stuff like that, like Arma, um, Daisy oh, they mod. Do? Yeah, they have shit like that. But it's is just... it like, is it? But is it like modded stuff? Is it like people like pe Technically, it derives from a mod, but they made it its own game. Yeah. Oh, okay, Arma okay. Daisy is what it's called. Oh, okay, okay. But it's not like GTA. Like but... imagine GTA. Like it's an open world. Like you get to see your friends, you get to see people, and you gotta survive like a whole zombie apocalypse. Like you have to. That's kind of what that is. <laughs> is it really? <laughs> I swear to God, yeah. What the hell? I never yeah. even heard about it. Is it tough? Um, I've never played. It's like a bit before my time, before I got a PC. But mm -hmm. people still play it. Absolutely, there's like fifty thousand people playing it every single day. Ah. so it's still up there. But yeah, you need kind of just drop in. It's a huge, huge map. Mm -hmm. Get your loot. Run into random people. Kill and they're them like, or not? Or, yeah. And they're like real people. Yeah. Oh wow! I didn't even know that. Wait. So how old was this game made? Like how long ago was it? Dude. Uh. Well. If, the game officially, I have no idea. The mod came out way back when. Way, way back like we when. we talking like 20 or 15 years, probably? I want to say like more than 10, yeah. Okay. But again, I'm not. Wasn't PC Virgin back then. <laughs> Still on my console. But, uh. Yeah. So, Hunger Games type of game. I was obsessed with parkour growing up, but they actually just like this year, a couple, like maybe a month ago or two months ago now, released the first like ever parkour game is that that one where it's like you have to keep doing tricks and stuff i think i've seen that you don't before. have to but yeah you can but yeah no it's fire it's like really really good so they did that how's it work is it like open world or is it just like it's you like, complete challenges like tony is it like the tony hawk game no well 
Tony Hawk style maps, but yeah, you, you yeah, could yeah. just do whatever you want, or you could do the challenges. There's not a lot of challenges uh, in the game. It was made okay. by one person, so okay, okay. honestly, phenomenal for mm-hmm. what it is. Okay, uh, so they bad. did that. Honestly, they've done almost everything I could possibly think of. But in terms of like anime, I want to see like a Dead Man, you know, this Dead Man Wonderland game mm-hmm. for you freaks who know exactly what that is. Um, but honestly, they've done almost everything. Like again, I'd want like a Squid Games game. They did that. That is true. I like, did see that Squid Games game. Everything's pretty much. I can't think of a single thing they haven't done. How about? Did they ever make a Wolverine game? They did. Oh, they did like I a story mode. Fuck out of it. Yeah. How long ago was that? Like, dude, 2011. Like, I was playing uh, it on 360. Dang, that was when I was grinding basketball. There was a point in my life where, <laughs> I like, it was seventh grade. I used to play Halo. No, sixth grade, bro. I played Halo every single day. Halo's gas. It was absolutely peak, peak, bro, peak gaming. Halo bro. three, Halo Reach. I played it every single day. It didn't every get time much I, than that. every time I got after, uh, got home from school, I played Halo. And then seventh grade, I tried out for the basketball team. I didn't make it, and I stopped playing Halo, bro. I was like, you know what? I got to grind basketball. <laughs> Not worth, bro. Not worth. <laughs> bro, I was like, nah, bro. I need to be good at basketball. That's why I told That's why I was like, I used to play games OD. I used to play Black Ops 2 all the time. I played freaking, what I used to play with my cousins? I played, me and my cousins used to play the first Smash Bros when it came out. I used to play hella games. But then basketball was just like, nah, bro. This is your time. I used to watch Kobe Highland. I went from watching red versus blue on yes. on youtube yes. to watching kobe bryant highlights was it worth it <laughs> hell no kids quit sports you'll never make it into the league bro quit i say in the moment it was but now looking at it where it's like dang i feel like my life is basketball so i'm trying to i'm trying to now transition my life to being more like broader and like more not open but you know more variety like i feel like I always just was just like dudes like oh yeah he's just good at basketball but now I'm trying to do other things I'm playing like me and JP playing pickleball this shit's so much fun bro, bro well, I gotta yo we have I have to teach you yeah the the actual rules of like pickleball because like mean, what are we doing wrong it's like so you know when you in pickleball right yeah so you know how when you serve like say you're serving to me yeah and you hit the net it's not and it's like it's it's two people like say it's you and Chris versus me and Jay whatever it's not our serve it's Chris's serve. Like, you guys double up on serves. Like, you get another chance, but oh. it's the other person's serve. Okay. And the, you can, I heard in the kitchen, like, you know the, the you know the kitchen, right? So, if the ball bounces in the kitchen, you can stand in the kitchen and hit it back. You just can't spike it back. Mm. And then, what are the rules there was? There was, um, there was, uh, like, you have to let the ball bounce twice on both sides before you can, like, actually, like, start spiking it. Really? Yeah. So, like, like you hit it over, hits bounce on one side. And then I'll hit it back. You have to let it bounce, and then you can start spiking. So one volley. Stuff. Yeah, basically. But yo, me and Jay, we be playing with like a lot of like the Indian dudes and Asian dudes, and like Jersey, <laughs> bro, it's crazy, bro. Like they curve they shots. Like I'm trying to learn how to like curve the serves. The slice it kind yeah. of. Yeah, pretty sure it's like ping pong. Yeah, but it's like OD because like a lot of them play tennis. Yeah. So this is like, like this is literally the middle ground between ping pong and tennis. So much fun. So dude. it's, it's it, so much. Fun. It's honestly mad fun. Also, I refuse to believe you and Jake beat me and anybody. I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care much about this. I'm trying to tell you, but Jay Loki, nice, bro. No testament to you two. I'm just really fucking good. <laughs> I don't care, bro. We are gonna see, bro. We are gonna see. And yo, they built. I told you they built the court. And um, I don't know if you peeped at uh Weber. No, I haven't seen Weber in years. But dude, I mean, what's up, man? Bro. I mean, Chris has the paddles. But. Yeah, no, I got a cop, bro. I freaking broke one of jay's paddles that thing fell off bro so i'm like i gotta go cop some more did the same thing to chris and he won't let me live it down really <laughs> yeah, yeah when we were the first time we were in charlotte i slammed it on the floor okay you cheesing me yeah nah i didn't <laughs> i didn't break it like that i like it literally just like fell apart like the paddle came off the the handle yeah that's how bad it was but Damn. yeah i need to go cop a new one like because yo, know, because we're like beginners yeah. they be using like some lightweight like I don't know what type of material it is. Like we got the wooden ones. They yeah, got the some other. St- I don't know, bro. Like I, <laughs> bro. Like they have like there's a whole pickleball community, bro. That's gosh. I want to be a part of it. Damn, I really should do something like that, bro. It's fun. Go to a league or something. Like there's literally like we, like we go to the park, right? And there's there's only two pickleball courts, but so they have their own like like neck system. So there's like a little pickleball rack rack holder, and you put your paddle there. So every time somebody wins or loses. You just move them up, and you just take your paddle, and then that's, that's a lot the next of trust. Line. That's and, what I'm saying. Um, I'm like, what the hell? Yeah, no. Nah. That's what I'm saying. That would not fly around right here. Yeah, no, nah, I wouldn't fly. <laughs> that <laughs> would never gonna work. Be, people gonna be cutting, hell yeah. but like they're really like united, like with like the rules and stuff. Like they do like a so like say you keep winning, you can only win two times, and then you have to switch out. 
Good dudes, man. That's what I'm saying. Pickleball. I'm like, yo, they s- so they so nice and stuff. They be telling you guys, they be like trying to teach us and stuff. I'm like, bro, I'm really, I like, I know how to play. I'm just getting mad right now because I'm not hitting the ball over sometimes. Yeah. But like, they'll do that. And if there's too many people, like, there's, I don't know if I told you, like, the, the first time we went, bro, it was there was eight people playing, but there was twenty people, like twenty paddles waiting. That's insane. So I'm like, That's insane. so when that happens, then like after the game, like everybody just comes off. They just Damn. they're just so together. I'm like, wow. Like, that's valid. That's so valid. That's what I'm saying. I, I know. I, yo, me and Ish been knowing about pickleball since like middle school. Cause like when we used to go to YMCA, they used to have pickleball every morning at 9 a.m. But I'm like, I used to think it was just for old people. But now I'm starting to see all the young dudes playing. Like it's some heat, bro. Man. On my TikTok, all I see is pickleball. It's some heat. So, it really is, man. If y'all are neglecting it, y'all got it. You got You gotta try it. You gotta try that shit. For it's real. actually really fun. If you, especially if you like ping pong and you like want some exercise, it's a really good exercise. Mm-hmm. But now, oh, sore as hell. But now I'm down. We could um, probably maybe this weekend or actually not this weekend because me and Jay might be going somewhere. But one of these days I'm down. Like they have whatever. It's, it's actually re- they be having pickleball tournaments over there. Like my mom said, she drove past. There was like mad cars parked on parked on the side, and they had like mad people. There's that's like so heat, bro. I want to do that. I want to do. That. I want to get nice. I'm saying, I'm bro. Not in my prime. Twenty five. <laughs> now you're in pickleball prime, bro. The is prime it, is like thirty two. Really? Uh, I'm so ready, bro. I'm so ready to quit my job and just be pickleball. <laughs> hey, bro. Um, let me see. What other stuff? Oh, I got a question for you, man. So, say Mr. Beast invited you to do yes. a challenge. Yes. He's giving you ten thousand dollars a day. Yes. For every day you survive in the desert. Yes. How many days are you surviving? A million. Just There's kidding. no 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 no. Um, I'd like to break six figures. How many days would that have to be? That's about ten. You said ten thousand. Ten thousand. Yeah. Ten thousand. Oh, I could do ten easy, bro. I did two months. Like nothing. You well, just... I don't have anything. Yes. Um. Say but... it. Say if it's me and you, and we get, we have to split it. Yeah, I was just trying to think. How do you even get food in the desert? That's what I'm saying. Where do you get the eats at? There's no food. Like you got. Like how do you find the water? Because you've been in the desert. Yeah. No. The Is there reason... really no water? The... Like nothing. Nothing, bro. Um. Because the only reason I had food and water is obviously because yeah. they supplied it for us. Yeah. But other than that, I don't know what we do. <laughs> I don't know what we do if they gave us nothing. Um, I say max five days, bro. I don't even know if I could do five days because, again, with no food and water, two, three. Realistically, <sighs> I'd love to stay 10. I really I really would love to stay 10. All right. If we can, if, if they give us a gallon of water. That's not nearly enough. That's not Honestly, enough? Honestly, we could ration it between both of us 10 days. I ain't going to lie. For that bread, I might drink my piss. You can only do that once. One time? Wait, what if I'm drinking? Every couple, they're like, whatever. Because Bear Girls did it once. And he said, I'm not going to do this anytime soon ever again because you could die. Really? Yeah. Okay, wait. So now, what if my piss is clear? doesn't matter. It's really? Still, it's still your piss, yeah. Dang, I thought You're it was only, clean. It's like, it's like a one-time joke. <laughs> get a joke free card. You can't do that for like survival for like constant days. You Dang. Oh, we're cooked. So, all right. What would our game plan be? Would it be just stay in one point and just live? Or do we try to find water and try to stay longer? You got to try to find something. I mean, I've seen like the... um. We do the naked survival show. Or yeah, whatever, yeah. And they move around a lot to like try and find shit, but they try their best not to exert energy because you lose. I mean, oh, you're yeah, not yeah. getting nearly as much calorie intake mm-hmm. or anything. So, dude, it takes like so much off you to just walk a couple, whatever. Yeah, yeah. And go get food or water or something. So, maybe the first day we'll try something. Yeah. I'm eating mad food that before we get in there. At least either bad food because we got a gallon of water that can last us what four days if we ration it correctly. I Possibly, think, yeah, but dude, we would be destroyed. Like destroyed. We might go delirious. Yeah, yeah, I know. I was just about to say, I think we're gonna go crazy by day like seven. Well, yeah, it also depends because the desert gets cold as fuck yeah. at night, dude. It gets cold as hell. At Is night. it really cold? Like I'm talking yes, like bro. Like, like really like, like forty tw- with wind, yeah. Fo- like, oh, that's O D. It gets stupid cold at night, like dumb cold. So that's freaking weird. Yeah. That's so so it drops sixty degrees if it's like a hundred degrees. If it's a hundred, it won't be that disgusting one cold at night yeah but it'll still be pretty like chilly pretty chilly yeah okay okay, sure okay so i'll give us i'll give us if we get a gallon of water 12 days (laughs) 12 days (laughs) 12 days no it's not happening i feel like you crash out first before me i feel like you'll start losing it (laughs) i feel i really feel like you will start losing the only i i lose it a lot of the time with anything in life when i have an option to just not be there so if mr (laughs) beast invited me i'm like i quit anytime i want yeah i'm gonna start crashing out but if i'm just in the desert bro i'm gonna have to keep calm and composed and find a way out oh like if it's an actual like survival yeah okay 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 but i crash out eventually but a lot 
after. I feel like you crash out on me and just drink all the water one day. <laughs> like, he's no. just, like, starts going off. He's just like, bro, I'm tired of this. I'm thirsty. I'm like, yo, chill out, bro. We can do this. We can do this. He said, nah. And you just chug the whole water, and now we're cooked. Well, yeah. Because I'd be like, there, I'd be like, I'd talk to the side camera, like, Darius doesn't want to quit. It's been, like, three days. I'm going to drink all the water. He's going to have to quit. And then just drink it. Because me, I'm optimistic. Jason I don't want to hear that. He's not going to want to hear I'm going to be like, yo, we can do it. He said, like, stop talking to me, there. Like, we're going to die. Like, we're going <laughs> to die. Like, I'm going to try to be positive as much as, as long and as much as humanly possible. Jason's going to be like, bro, I'm dying of this, bro. Because there ain't shit out there, dude. There ain't shit out there. Nothing. We can find a, we can kill a couple vultures with some rocks. What makes you think we're going to run into a vulture? I don't know. Don't they just be hovering around and stuff? I've never seen a vulture in the desert. Really? Are I'm there any animals? Except lizards, rattlesnakes, lizards and snakes. Yeah. Nah, I don't eat no lizard. Hell no. Nah, I, yeah, I think twelve days. Twelve days. What's that? Twelve uh, days is crazy. That's twelve. Tw- we get sixty k each. That ain't too bad. Yeah, I'm doing twelve days. Really? Yeah. I'm not doing twelve. Well, how much? How long you think? Three to four. Three bro. to four. Again, again. That's assuming that there's no way we found food or water. Because <laughs> where the fuck are we gonna find food and water? But we might get lucky. We lucky. Who the fuck's lucky? <laughs> <laughs> I've been lucky one time in my entire life, bro. Never after that. And it was, it's going to be twice, bro. Because you with me. The power of friendship, bro. It's going to work. It always prevails, bro. I don't think so, but hey. Three to four? So we only got coming out with 20K? Yeah. Okay. That's still bread, though. Mm-hmm. But, yo. Mr. I was I was watching an interview with Mr. Beast. They were saying, like, yo, if we give you a trillion dollars, like, what are you going to do with that? Like, with the video. He said, bro, I'm honestly, I can do whatever I want with all yeah. that bread like he said he's just gonna buy those like giant mega yachts and just give them away to charity i'm like damn bro imagine, imagine having that much money he has a stupid amount of bread bro he took like a whole like a hundred million dollar cruise ship and just rented it out for himself for the day that's crazy and th- is this all just from youtube like he didn't make no other money on the side or is it just like honestly do i don't know what he does uh um, well yeah he makes it like dumb bread off youtube i was thinking to myself like there's no way he doesn't have investors that yes. give him the money, mm-hmm. and he'll like, I'll pay you guys back because I'll obviously whatever you give me, I'll make double um, it yeah, or one point yeah. five off that mm-hmm. and give it back. Yeah, yeah. So no, nah, he definitely does that. I know. I remember. Uh, I think Mr. Beast is was doing like a little. I don't know if it was uh something with a bunch of influence or whatever. And I remember it was after like the Beta Squad versus AMP like soccer match. Like he flew out like Drewski, Kai, all of them. He said they had it was like a Mr. Beast private jet. Like, it had Mr. Beast, like, logos on the seats. It had Mr. Beast food. I'm like, nah, this is OD. And, like, they said they went into the, the hotels. They had Mr. Beast soap. I'm like, nah, this man is literally, like, He's a, a freaking... Goat, man. He that's really OD, is. just He's from insane. YouTube, bro. Just off YouTube. You know, he started off... I told you this before on the yeah, phone yeah. earlier. He just started off saying the same word, like, 100,000 times. Yeah. Like 10,000 times. He's insane. Nah, I think, I think he's lying to us. I think he invested in crypto and, like... He just, like, I don't think he made all this just from YouTube. I think he got some money on the side or doing some shit. I want to see how he did it, too. Honestly, I should probably do my research. I'm sure there's a video on it. Like, when, when was his first, like, big video? That's what I'm trying to some crazy but shit. But you can't even see that now because everybody watch... People watch all his videos. Yeah. So it's just, like, everything just says a million. But, like, mm-hmm. there's not really one that says, like, this is where, like, it blew up at. Yeah. Unless you could just, like, tell by, like, the quality of it. I'm sure there's a video. Someone probably already did the data. Yeah. You know how it be. People is, like... I feel like since the internet blew up, everybody just started becoming detectives, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, oh my god, it's just so bad. Scary place. Mm-hmm. Uh, what are the games? Ooh, I gotta. Ooh, actually, I have another question we could do. So, would you rather get ten thousand dollars right now, or get ten million dollars, but you can only eat snacks for the rest of your life? Give me ten mil right now. What are you, you think crazy? Of, what do you think I've been doing with my entire life? You're not living pat. Like I'm talking about, you can't eat no. I'm talking about just chips, cookies, uh, pop tarts. Anything in that snack out for the rest of your life. You're crazy as hell. Uh, but I really do eat a lot of snacks. Or I used to it. Yeah, least. but like I'm saying, like for the rest, of, like it's because you voluntarily eat it. But I'm saying you have to only eat like candy for the rest of your life. If it's humanly possible to, again, maintain like, I guess. A strict, like a cool diet? Yeah, actual diet. Like where I could get like the carbs and like. I mean, you probably can't just eat like know. protein bars. That can't be good for you. But you can't be good for you. You destroy your intestines or something. Like, I don't know. You eat protein bars. You might, like, I mean, uh, fruit counts as snacks. You can eat fruit. That shit on my face, man. What you mean? But, um, I'd do it if humanly possible, yeah. Nah, hell no. 10 I'm, mil? I'm not doing that. I'll take the 10K easy. Free money. I get like a gourmet chef to make candy look like real food. <laughs> nah, hell no, bro. There's no way. Like, I'm not going to lie. If you do that, you might live to maybe. 
40, mm. 40 max. Once you hit like like 35, you're going to start feeling it. <laughs> like you're going to start, you're going to be waking up mad tired. You're going to wake up like, man, I don't want, like you're just feeling like droggy. You're going to have headaches. That's just going to suck, yeah. bro. Yeah. Maybe not. Nah, hell no. That's just 10 snack. mil. That's 10 mil, though. What's the, what, you're not even going to be able to enjoy that. Nah. <laughs> like, Unlimited peach rings, turn me up. Bro. Unlimited peach rings is insane. It's gas pack is what it is. Nah, I don't know, bro. Peach, peach rings, top three, top five snacks? For me, yeah. What's Thousand, ten percent. What's your top five snacks? Peach rings. Mm-hmm. Damn, rings for the neck. Crunch. Crunch bars? Yo, so fucking. I, I'm not gonna so I ain't gonna lie that I think that that's Jay, one of Jay's favorite chocolate that bars that shit is so heat but it's so like basic like it's literally just chocolate nah. and crunch cr- I can make you a crunch bar right now no you cannot I literally you be fucking ass pack what do you mean but, uh, <laughs> I can literally make you a crunch bar I have to think um you don't even gotta be in no order do I even need anything else uh, <laughs> yo I think barbecue sunflower seeds are up there for sure haven't gotten those in a while but they are heat I hate sunflower seeds they I feel heat. like I'm a bird eating this stuff I was that way too, but it's better than um, well only because I'm a fiend and I have to. So like you can whoa, like. Oh, I was about to say something crazy. Pause before I even begin to even think <laughs> this. I have to constantly do something with my mouth, like <laughs> you know, I'm constantly hitting my vape or like putting in like a zen or like yeah yeah something like that. So it keeps me occupied, like okay. chewing gum or like with a toothpick. I um always do stuff like that. Yeah. So I like some seeds a lot. Um. Wait. So do you do you know how to eat it? Like you just put like a handful in your mouth. Yeah, you could do that. I, like, can you do that? Yeah. Oh, uh, no, I can't do that. I don't know. It's not fun, though. Like, it I takes like, all the fun out of it. What do you mean? Because like, then you, like, the whole reason, like, for, well, unless you're getting this regular sunflower seeds mid, but, like, <laughs> you get the, like, the little dust on it. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And then you did, that's what the taste. So yeah. if you just put that all in your mouth, you're going to overload it with fucking dust. <laughs> it's not going to taste that good. And then you just have a bunch of dry sunflower seeds in your mouth. So you do it one by one? Uh, Two or three. Okay, okay. I know J. Cause I know Jay loves sunflower seeds because it's it's like a softball and like baseball type of thing. Cause yeah. you know they eat a lot. Like I've seen her, she can put like not a handful, but like a good amount in her mouth and just like chew her for like a good like maybe like two minutes. But I'm like, yo, you like a bird, bro. Yeah. Like this is literally bird food. I can't. I I don't care. It's good do shit it. though. Um, honestly, I don't can't think of anything else right now. So that's your top three though. For sure. I think. All right. So mine. I think I'm gonna go Twix bar. Twix is better than Crunch. What the mid. Twix is way better than Crunch. I ain't gonna lie, Three Musketeers is better than Crunch. Get the fuck out of here, yo! You're <laughs> actually bugging. I can like, literally make bugging, you. Bugging. I can make you a Crunch bar right now. No, you cannot. With Rice Krispie treats and chocolate. It's not gonna <laughs> taste right, bro. Crunch <laughs> got that down to a fucking science. That, that's that a freaking. Science. They placeboed you, cuz like they got you in a, <laughs> in a whole social experiment. Dude, it's thinking, so good. No, bro. I got Twix bar. Uh. The freaking uh the the nerds gummy clusters. Those are gas. Dude. Those really are really fire. Good. And then if I go if I get a chip, I'll either do. I was gonna say hot Cheetos, but like that's what some that's some mid, that's dude. some fat Dominican like early. All morning. right, we're getting racist. <laughs> but, yeah. Okay, not hot Cheetos. I feel not hot Cheetos because I can't eat that forever. I'll say Cool Ranch Doritos. What Darius wanted to say is chicken fried rice, um, <laughs> orange chicken. Yeah, I actually have some orange chicken and fried rice downstairs waiting. Yeah, of course so you I'm do. So hungry. <laughs> they, they have a team at workshop down here too. <laughs> yo, t- yo, I'm saying, Cool Ranch Doritos, Cool Cool Ranch Doritos over the red and oh maybe not the purple bag, but now nah, I'm purple in the goes crazy. But I I feel like I'm in phases, so I'm in my my Cool Ranch phase, bro. But I feel like the red bag is like overrated. Nacho cheese is like. It is a bit overrated. The like other ones are really, really good. Like really good. Like, like it's like, I rather low key. I rather than barbecue ones. The barbecue uh, Doritos. Doritos yeah, those new ones like the gray yes. bag. Yeah, so good. Those so are good, rocking. Dude. I'll take really the barbecue good. ones. I'll take. I don't know if you ever had those. Uh, but you don't. You don't really like spicy food like that. There was like nope. a buffalo buffalo ranch one. It was like a light blue bag. I don't know if you ever seen that before. Mm. That one's pretty good, and then. I remember they came out with like remember they came out with like ketchup and mustard. Ew, bro. That stop was kind of nasty. Stop it. No, no, no. Ketchup. The ketchup wasn't that bad. Bro, stop ever talking to me about ketchup ever again. That's just so ass. You don't like ketchup? Things you use ketchup are so weird. What it's do you actually mean? Actually, criminals. Fuck. What do you? I mean, it's gross. I don't use anything. So on a so on a cheeseburger, you just no, dry. Yeah. See now you that's some psychotic shit. It's I ain't not. Gonna... <laughs> so it's just normal behavior. Dry burgers. Yeah. No wait. Why don't you like ketchup? Is this like gross, a is this bro. like a childhood trauma or something? No, it's just <laughs> gross. Like it just doesn't taste good. It's like 
ketchup? slipping everywhere. It's oh, dude, it's so gross. Really? God, yeah, it's messy, bro. Okay, do you like mayo? Nope. What condiment do you like? Just barbecue sauce? Yeah. This guy is so <laughs> generic, bro. Oh, can I, get some, can I get some barbecue? Oh, my God. Honey mustard, at least. No. No honey mustard? I try it. It's not like I haven't tried so. Okay. But. Um, have you ever tried Big Mac sauce? Nope. Really? Okay, that's fine. Big Mac sauce busting, though. Cane sauce. You eat the cane sauce, right? You don't go. I dip a little bit. I do a little <laughs> bit. Yeah, because niggas like y'all be getting like, can I get three packets? Can I get your extra? I use one. one really? One, yeah, one little dip cup. That's all but, I need. <laughs> nah, I need at least a good two, bro. Crazy work. That's I don't know what y'all are doing. Sauce, I don't know bro. what y'all are doing to your fucking chicken <laughs> tenders, but like free them. Bro, it's Actually busted, Actually waterboarding bro. them. It's gross. <laughs> Insane work. Waterboarding the cane sauce is wild, bro. All right, how about, you remember when we had Dave's Hot Chicken? You, yeah. You ever tried their sauce? Oh, mm-hmm. no, you I didn't get did anything, him, bro. No. Dang, bro. So I missed why, out. This man just loves barbecue sauce, bro. No, no one like Chris. That boy Chris puts barbecue sauce no, on okay, everything. Yes, he he got a corn on the cob of barbecue sauce. Yeah, he does. He's he d- vile. He drowns that shit. It's in disgusting. Barbecue. Like actually <laughs> vile. Work. I don't know what his deal is, bro. I don't know what his deal is. <laughs> like I remember I seen him eating a burger one time, and he like he don't like you know some people they they open the top yeah. up and put it on. He pours it as he's biting. <laughs> now that's crazy. Like that that yeah. is od. This dude's on the mic in Discord. This is the first time I had a burger with that barbecue sauce. I said nigga, you're sick. I said you're <laughs> sick, bro. What do you mean? That's normal. Like nah, bro. Okay, hold on. How about sweet and sour sauce? I've tried it. It's not bad. From McDonald's. It's not bad. It's not bad. But I'm gonna get barbecue sauce every time. Ranch. Hell no. Really? Ranch and blue cheese are some of the most vile concoctions <laughs> oh. on this earth. On this earth. Okay. Bro. Ranch, I, I I said before, ranch is kind of overrated, but it's not bad. There's different there's places that have good ranch. Wow, really? Dude, it's gross. It's so disgusting. I feel like your yeah, taste palette is like very it's limited. Goated. No, no. I feel like it's very limited to like 20 items. No, I, my taste buds are just throwing parties every night and you guys are <laughs> no, actually no, hanging no, no. themselves, which is why you guys form new taste buds and like new things every day. <laughs> Mine are consistent because we throw parties. I feel like you yours might be worse than Jordan's. No, Jordan's consists of Oreo cookies and like <laughs> ice cream cake. Probably the fat <laughs> fuck. And that's all you eat. But I feel like I feel like yours is not too far off. No. No, nah, because Jordan, all he eats is chicken fingers, french fries, <laughs> uh, Oreo cookies, golden Oreos now. He, he's new with golden, golden Oreos, uh, ice cream cake, and bacon. That's all he eats. Literally, that's all he eats. You <laughs> yeah. give him those six items for the rest of his life, he's, he's good, chill. bro. He's big oh, my God. He's loving life. But for you, I feel like yours is not that far off. I eat almost everything y'all eat. I just don't do the extra stuff. What do you mean extra? Like condiments. <laughs> all right, hold on. You eat burger, burgers, glizzies. You do you like seafood? Yeah, um, just not messy stuff. I like. I swear to God, I think I might be autistic. Like, <laughs> you I say this century, all the time, bro. Because I swear to God, I have sensory issues. Like, bro, you. I mean, you saw me. We were at the seafood spot. Yeah, yeah. I put my gloves on and I was eating shrimp. Believe it or not, not not <laughs> messy shrimp, just regular fried shrimp, breaded shrimp. I put my gloves on, but it wasn't. But. Y'all it, niggas were getting vile. Yeah, it actually I looked like gonna... a pig pen. It was disgusting, dude. I wanted to vomit. Oh my god, I was so yeah, I was going in, bro. It was yo, that was bust. It was a seafood boy. But yo, do you want to take an autism test? You want to take one? Yeah, why not? Because I took one. They said I'm on the spectrum. So I feel like they said it for everybody though. I want to get like checked out, bro. Oh, let's god. see. Hey, people, we're taking an online adult autism test live on the air. Let's do autism quiz. Do I have autism? Let's answer that question right now. We are on Psych Central, and we are going to do an autism test with Jason to see if he, if he has autism. So, first question. I like to do things the same way. Never, some of the time, or most of the time. Most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> I would rather hang out alone rather than go to a party with friends. Never, some of the time, or most of the time. Does it have to be a party? Because I don't go to parties, period. But, uh... Sometimes. Some of the time. I tend to notice small de- details that others don't. Never, some of the time, most of the time. Most of the time. When I'm reading a story, I have I have a hard time imagining what the characters might look like or figuring out the characters' intentions. No. Never. I find myself drawn more strongly to people than to things or solitary activities, including video games. No. <laughs> Never. I enjoy social gatherings and or find social situations easy. Sometimes. Okay. On many occasions, I've been told that what I've said is impolite, even though I think it is polite. Yeah. Most of the time? Yeah. <laughs> I frequently find it hard to keep a conversation going. 
Sometimes. Okay. I find it difficult to imagine what it would be like to be someone else. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, I'd be thinking how to name what was name drop. I'd be thinking like how the hell are they even alive, bro? Dumbass decisions and thoughts. Stupid. Okay. I focus more on the whole picture rather than the small details. No. Okay. I tend to have very strong interest and get upset if I can't pursue them. Yeah. <laughs> when I talk, it isn't always easy for others to get a word in. Sometimes. <laughs> when someone's talking to me, I find it easy to read between the lines, understand their true feelings or intentions. Yeah. Uh, most of the time or some of the time? Some of the time. Okay. I find it easy to understand what someone is thinking or feeling just by looking at their face. No. I often notice small sounds when others don't. No. I'm about to say you got super acute hearing. Numbers, <laughs> <laughs> numbers, dates, or strings of information fascinate me. No. <laughs> Fuck. Those are like the real. You know, let me not get disrespectful. But like, I can easily recognize patterns and things all the, all the time. Sure. New situations make me anxious and nervous. Yes. All right. <laughs> I prefer reading books about nonfiction subjects like dinosaurs. No. Not just dinosaurs, but just nonfiction in general. Not like fiction. Okay. I find it hard to figure out people's intentions. No. Okay, let's see your results. I'm and, autistic. And people, just to let you know, autism is never a bad thing. You it's know, not. It's just y'all superpower, you know what I'm saying? I'm I might be autistic. I have a lot of cousins that are autistic. You know, they're just as normal as me. I'm not even normal. You know what I'm saying? But I won't bullshit with you, ever brother who has Asperger's. He's not normal. <laughs> Good dude though. <laughs> not normal. Let's see your score. Your total score is 18 out of 40. Results of your art. So scoring in this range means it may be a good idea to monitor your symptoms and keep track of the severity of these behaviors and when they are present. Further evaluation is typically recommended when these behaviors begin to interfere with your ability to navigate life, school, and relationships. If you're concerned of, or if you are concerned or want more information, considering scheduling an evaluation with qualified healthcare <laughs> or mental health professionals for further assessment and potential treatment options. So basically, you are. I think this means you are on the spectrum, or you are close to it. Like Just you missed. are hovering that line. <laughs> Just miss. That's a pass. I think me and Corey did this like maybe a, uh, six months ago, and it said like we were on the spectrum. You guys are, I can't say you are, we're special, <laughs> special I, in your own way. See, because I'm not going to lie, when it said something about like you see patterns and things, like I see a lot of patterns and stuff. Like it just like, not even just like looking at like like something like, oh, that looks like similar to something else. I just, like, like I see like patterns in like people. So, yeah. like, so I look at it like this, right? <clears throat> I look at like Jay and her family and i can like see patterns and like how the reason why jay acts like this like how jay like is herself is because like it's from like her parents like they have like the same like tendencies and patterns and i look at that all the time and i'm just be thinking like dang is this like just me or is it just like a no it's not easy to see i got humbled like that honestly i didn't see how any of my past family stuff could have ever affect me as a human being mm. but it truly does yeah bro it really does i really especially i started realizing a lot like with the like I'd be looking at my own parents and stuff to see, like, I look at, like, patterns that I do. I'd be like, dang, which one of my parents does this? Yeah. And I try to look at it, I'm like, dang, you know what? Maybe my dad did this. Or maybe if I act like, say if I'm, like, I feel, like, weird about something, I'm like, dang, maybe I get this from my mom. Maybe I get this from my dad. Or maybe mm -hmm. I just learned it myself. I always, like, look at it like that. But, hey, man, we're all weird in our own little ways. Indeed. You know what I'm saying? But, all right, Jason, I have another game we can play before we can go into the ghost stories of the podcast. So... You are dead broke. I mean, bottom of the oh, barrel. That's reality. <laughs> you are at your last straw, and you need to rob a bank. Choose your line. Build your the best lineup with ten dollars. Mm -hmm. So there's three categories. So the categories are: choose the person that you want to help you. So for five dollars, it's the professor from uh, Money Heist. You ever watch Money Heist? Yeah, he's good. Dude. The he's professor, so, yeah, he's so professor good, from Money Heist. For four dollars, the Joker. Three dollars, Bonnie and Clyde. Two dollars, Plankton, or one dollar, me. <laughs> Hell no, Darius. I think I would help. Is Plankton just creating the heist, or is he involved in the heist? He's, he's small. He get it now. No one's gonna believe a little green fucking plankton. You know how small <laughs> Plankton are. Yeah, I know. No he's one's mad gonna see little. that. It's whatever you want him to I do. I can be cop. 
I can be, but how's he going to bring the money out? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Where's the bread? Oh, man. Um, <laughs> There's no way he's picking up that bread. Yeah, um, <laughs> who was three? Bonnie and Clyde. They were fucking ass. I'm going to let you know right now they were ass. Everybody <laughs> saw them all the time. They just were robbing banks when nobody could do shit about it, honestly. <laughs> um, and then what was four? The Joker. I think it's going to blow the fucking bank up. And we're cooked. <laughs> Unless you get me out. Yeah. You get me out after? You probably could. You never know. He might, he might like, devise a plan for you. Yeah, but his plan's insane. He's going to fucking blow me up in it. <laughs> Honestly, I hate to break my bread like this, but the professor. The professor for $5? No, but his shit was, like, actually too complicated. Like, you have to make sure you get caught in the bro, bank. Bro, his, are you fucking crazy? <laughs> yo, his stuff was, like, so timed well. Yeah, That was bro. a great show, That's bro. That's really fucking good, though. Yeah. But he, he, his plan involved too many, hey, to show your face now? Like, what do you fucking mean? <laughs> Make sure you get caught. Like, no. So probably, I go with the Joker. You go with the Joker? Okay. Yeah. Joker for $4. So you got $6 left. So now choose your item. So for $5, you have knockout gas. $4, a laser cutter. $3, a bottomless bag. $2, pistols. Or $1, ski mask. So if I choose the other ones, I don't have a mask for the bank? I mean, you know what, Joker? It's not going to fucking matter. You can put a paper bag over your head. It ain't gonna ma- with, the, with the Joker, it ain't going to matter. Yeah. So. <laughs> I'm sure he has explosives. <laughs> There's going to be no point in knocking everybody out when the building's in flames. Um, <laughs> a bottomless bag. So you can put as much money as you want in there. I go with the bottomless bag. That bottomless makes it really bag? convenient. Yep. Okay. Honestly. All right. All right. So now, this is your getaway vehicle. You have $3. You have $3 left. For five dollars, a private jet, which you can't get. Four dollars, a helicopter. Three dollars, a garbage truck. Two dollars, a 2011 Toyota Camry. Mm-mm. Or one dollar, a bike. Garbage truck. Garbage mm, truck. That's not mobile though, bro. And again, it's gonna be so hot with the Joker, bro. That nigga's gonna be all like over international Unless news. Unless he like makes it low key and like you can get away in the as like garbage people. Like I've seen that. In- Name one thing Joker's ever done that's low key. That is true. Nigga's a fucking in, like he's insane. That is true. Um, he might whip that Toyota Camry. That's what I'm saying. He might whip that. <laughs> he might be busted. And I won't need a garbage truck to be on. It's indestructible. Well, not indestructible, but it's like good for brute forcing your ways. Yeah. Things, but that's assuming that they know where you're going. and They see you. So mm-hmm. maybe the Camry. I think he gonna be bending blocks. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Joker gonna be bending blocks, bro. So I'll take the camera. So you're gonna have the Joker, a bottomless bag, and 2011 Toyota Camry. I think that's a good. That's a pretty good lineup. Didn't get away with that. That's not that bad. That's Might not be able bad. to get away. I ain't gonna lie. Is anybody? I wonder if anybody's really like robbing banks nowadays. Like, is that a thing? I feel like they're mostly doing it online. Like, yeah, there's no way. Like, I, I don't be, think anybody's doing it no more. Too, like, way too secure. Like, I remember I seen a dude. There was a guy. He uh, it was a, uh, there was like a bank robber back in the days. He was he would like dress up like an old man every time, or I think he was an old man, and he would rob banks. He robbed like five banks, but nobody could find him because he would always like he would just change his outfit. But I'm like, how the hell can you not find him? Like, <laughs> there's no way this old what was this. This is like maybe like early 2000s. No, nah, it's way too late in the game. That's what I'm to, saying. To get the old outfit switcheroo. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. I'm like, I don't, it's like, and it's an old man. Like he's not young. Like he's not like our age. He's like maybe 60. And he's just getting away with this. Like, like, there's no way. He has to be, like, a cop or something. Like, he has to be, like, in the system or some way, somehow. Like, they just don't care. Like, Good just, for him, bro. <laughs> he Good made it him. out. Yeah, with the old switcheroo, man. Hey, man. God is a- <laughs> he's doing, like, the little freaking uh, cartoon memes in real life, and it's working <laughs> out for him. Never never in my life will I understand how it works out, bro. But, nah, I be getting, I don't know. I be getting a lot of, like, uh, text messages where it'd be like, oh, uh, your package is left at UPS. And Those shits are smart, man. Bro, I ain't gonna lie, they are. I think it got it got me one time. They've got my ass. Like, I, they was like, yeah, just put your or I think it said put your address and put your bank card in there because I ordered something, and I'm like, okay, I haven't seen it in a while. Maybe this is like my 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 shipment. So like, I think I put my thing in there. And I think they tried to hack me, so I had to change my cards, bro. Bro, they're fucking, they're good, bro. I got one on uh, Steam, which is like um where you buy games. Yeah, off yeah, of, like, yeah. Your whole friends list on uh PC. Mm-hmm. And, like, my friend, the friend that I know, yeah. off his account, messaged me, hey, man, I accidentally reported your account some bullshit. Like, yeah. Oh, man, no worries. Mm-hmm. He's like, just click on this to, like, you know, just make sure everything's okay. Click yeah. on the link. My account was cooked. Really? So had my email and password done. Wow. Just off me clicking the link. That's OD, Cooked my bro. ass crazy. Did I tell you about that time, like, I almost got scammed, like, with my card? I told you about that time, mm-hmm. right? Like, with the Indian, with the Pakistan, like, Afghanistan dudes? <laughs> no. Bro, 
this was like maybe last 2023 like when me it was like me my me my family and jay was going to puerto rico and it was literally the day before and you know i'm packing all my stuff and my mom she asked me she was like dad what'd you do i was like what happened she's like i can't get into the the ipad i was like what do you mean she said like there's something wrong with the ipad like, you can't like somebody hacked into our ipad so i'm like all right this is kind of weird how the fuck does that work i don't know that's what i'm <laughs> saying like they said like the Wi-Fi, they I guess they got through the Wi-Fi or whatever, and they hacked the Wi-Fi, like the the um, iPad, like you can't like lo- unlock it or whatever. So, and I guess she was trying to go into like her bank statements or whatever, and she couldn't get into it, so it was kind of weird. So then I remember something. I think she got like an alert or something. I got an alert or something on my phone saying like I got like um, oh no no, this is what happened. She had a phone call. She got a phone call right, and she was like, they was like, yeah, my name is um James Johnson. Dude had an Indian accent. He's like, my name is James Johnson, and you guys. Uh, I think you guys had, like, a security breach. Like, did you guys, uh, is your iPad not working or whatever? And she was like, yeah, like, my iPad's not working. She said, oh, well, you guys have security breach, this, that, and a third. Um, somebody has hacked into your, like, uh, bank statements. Like, whoever's card is ending in, like, 148, whatever, is being, like, they're they're about to take out $2,000 for, like, child corn or whatever. And I was like, hold on, that's my card. I'm like, What? I'm like, oh no, nah, that's OD. So I'm like, the smartest book. So they called. So this is like right before we about to leave. So they called my mom, and I'm like, my mom's telling me, like, Dara's like, what'd you do? I'm like, what do you mean what I do? I didn't do nothing. So she's like, she's like, call the number on the back of your card. I was like, I bet. I called the number on the back of my card. They intercept that call. And they're like, hello? Them niggas are nice. They're That's so I'm, nice. Bro, they're going. I'm like, nah, this is OD. So then they're like, um, hello, this is a TD Bank or whatever. This is a bank. And then it was like, I was like, yeah, like they said, um, yeah, I have like a fraudulent account. Somebody have been hacked in my account. They're going to take all my money out, whatever. And it's like, oh, really? Like I said, it, it, like I'm looking at your account right now. It looks like all your money went through already. So like we can't do nothing about it unless like they said they was like, you have to go to Target and buy like a card. <laughs> <laughs> they folded crazy. Yeah. They're so they al- stupid. They almost got me, bro. Cause I'm like, cause I now they got us scared because they was they was talk they was telling me like, yeah, you can go to prison for this. Like if this goes through, like we don't know, like we might have to like call the authorities. I'm like, yeah. what you mean? Like I didn't do like there's nothing on my laptop. But I'm not even tripping because like I didn't do this. I'm like it's whatever. So like, but like I'm low key still getting nervous. Cause I'm like, what's happening? So now right. I'm calling. They're like, you have to go to Target. You have to get this special card, and you have to put your money on that card, and then you have to give us the card number. And I'm like, okay, that sounds kind of weird. I'm like, my mom, my mom was like, you know what? Go to TD Bank, and ask them like, is, is everything good? And I went to TD Bank. They're like, yeah, bro, I think you're getting scammed. <laughs> That's I'm embarrassing. Like, as fuck. That was so bad, bro. But no, they're nice as fuck for them. They, they didn't do the stupid go to Target shit. They could have cooked. You no, crazy. they really would have cooked me. Yeah, because that's good work, though. That's yeah, good work. They, intercepting the Wi Fi. Yeah. Intercepting the call. Too good. They was on our ass for like four hours, bro. Too good. Like, and it was like, and they didn't they didn't say Target at first. They said you need a special card. But I was like, where do you get the card from? They was like, well, you can get it from like Target, your local store. I'm like, what the, what the hell are you talking about? Get it so from my lo- local store. It was like some BS like bank card or like an ATM card or something like that. And I was like, nah, imagine I did that. You know how many old ladies they probably got? I know they'd be getting them. 100%. Like, like you know, uh, what was the, the movie with uh, Channing State, uh, uh, Jason Statham, whatever. Yeah, uh, Beekeeper. Beekeeper. Yeah. That whole movie. Cooked mo- her. Bro, cooked her. How much, bro? What was it, like millions of dollars or whatever? Yeah. Oh my gosh, but that's so evil. I ain't gonna lie. Doing that people to old really people. People really do that, yeah. That's so sad, bro. Crazy work. But, hey, man. I'm not gonna say no. That's crazy. I'm not gonna say it's your hustle. That's a crazy hustle. <laughs> but, nah, bro. But, uh, before we end the pod, bro, I got, a, I got a couple stories to talk to you about and a couple potential things that we could do for one of our well, let's do haunted it. things. I'll debunk all these things, man. That's what I'm saying. See, that's why I love when we go to like the little haunted stuff because I'm not gonna lie. I'm starting to be a little skeptical. Yeah, because, as you should, bro. I'm telling you. This because, should, one, I personally... The only thing that we seen, like I was talking about with Corey, was the the haunted road thing. That was the one thing we seen. But when we went to when we went to the prison thing, which y'all gonna see soon, tune into that. It wasn't really that scary. We was just in a dark place. I didn't Chill. feel I didn't feel like anybody touched me. I didn't feel like anybody talked to me. I heard nothing. Nothing was really out the out of the ordinary. So I'm like, okay, whatever. But so the one place that I want to go to, and it was an, it's another road. I don't know if you ever heard it. It's called Mount Misery Road in Long Island. Mm. So there's a road in Long Island that they made a, a Amityville movie about it, and it's one of the most haunted roads in like New York and like in the country. What makes it haunted? Like it's haunted because like supposedly like the Native Americans like through generations said the land was cursed because they can never grow crops there. Like it's like a road that goes through a forest, like you know how like the Clan Road yeah. was, 
and like people have seen like a lot of like shadowy spirits or whatever they seen girls walking in white uh white dresses yeah yeah, yeah. they freaking and a lot of times they said a lot of people died on there though like they said a little girl got hit by a car and they said there was a lot of people that got murdered there like a i think a guy went out there and killed his family and buried them on the side of the road so that's why a lot of people say they see things and i remember some guy wrote a book talking about a, a creature that lived in the woods and a lot of people supposedly seen it and it said it has r- glowing red eyes. They see him in the woods all the time. My ass. Bro. I don't know, bro. I don't know if it's real or not, but there's a lot of accounts. Like, there's like I'm talking about generations of people saying like how creepy and scary it is. And it's just like one straight road. There's no lights on it. And like even, bro, it even gets to a point where people even said they seen like you know the men in black people with yeah. it. They, they said, Get the fuck I promise here, to, I promise the guy everything I love. People said that when they see a lot of the things in there, like either where it's like ghosts or a lot of people said they see like glowing orbs in the in the woods and something. They say they call the cop or they see like or if they see like the little glowing red lights, they say they see they call the cops and then the men in black come in and then <laughs> erase their mind. <laughs> now Granted, yeah. I don't know that's gonna happen. You can't make that shit. No, nah, that's man. crazy Get the though. Fuck out of here. See, that's what I'm saying. I'm gonna, you know what? One day I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna make a, a ghost story about a, about Union, about the swamp. You could, you really fucking good. I promise you, it'd be believed because people are just insane. Yeah, insane. But I don't believe it. Hey, who knows, people? We might go over there and debunk it. Yeah. Because yeah. I ain't gonna lie, we're one for two right now. One for two, we're two for two. No, no, no. Clinton Road, that was something, bro. I'm trying to tell you, Jason don't believe it was anything. He thinks it was a motorcycle. Yes, or... bro. You did not hear a motorcycle. You can hear a motorcycle. Depends. If it's a speed bike, no. It's, you're assuming it's a Harley. Who the hell is we riding a speed bike at 2 a.m.? Joy rides. But then there was no turns. Joy rides? You crazy as hell. Who the hell joy... And it was cold, Jason. Nobody be riding a motorcycle in the wintertime. It was it was cold. Like, who the, <laughs> who the hell ride a motorcycle? Like, you ride a motorcycle in the wintertime, you sick, bro. Bro, I'm telling you, he was just getting home, man. <laughs> he was just getting home. Nah, bro. I'm trying to tell you, bro. There's some creepy stuff out there. And granted, a lot of... You know, a lot of the stuff that I be talking about, like, with the paranormal stuff, it didn't really happen to me. It really happened to my parents. But even... Even though I feel like I tell you all the time, there's something in this crib. I don't know what the hell it is, but it ain't nothing that I seen. I ain't never seen nothing. That's because it's just, not real. But just stuff just be misplaced though. That's just weird. That's just weird to me. No, someone's moving it around. Just forget. Nah, <laughs> nah, bro. Like I remember, like you know the little uh, washing beads that you could put in like the washing yeah, dryer. Yeah, or but the, yeah, beads. Yeah, like the top, whatever them yeah. things called. So I don't use those. So I was washing clothes one day, right? My mom was like, "Yo, why'd you put the things in the? Th- You're not supposed to put it in here." I'm like, "Bro, I didn't touch that." She's like, what you mean you didn't touch it? I was like, I didn't touch it. And she's like, your dad didn't touch it. Your living didn't touch it. I was like, that wasn't me. I didn't put none of that bro, stuff in there. y'all touched it? Bro. I did not put it in there. Or everything I love. Or everything I love, I didn't do none of that. But, nah, I know. I feel like a lot of times, like, ghosts, if there is ghosts, if ghosts are real, they mostly pre- go, like, a lot of people, the people that see them are mostly either younger kids or animals, like dogs. And not in the sense where they talk to dogs, but dogs be like, what the hell is that? And they just look. Like, imagine. I have seen my dog tweak before, but I ain't seen nothing. That's why. Hey, man. Maybe they don't want you to be seen. Maybe only the little kids can see it. I'm saying. That's such an oddly specific, like. Maybe their brain, because their brain's not developed yet. So they're just like, they don't need to, like, they're not going to feel scared. Like, imagine, bro. Like, imagine after we die, right? Mm-hmm. We we literally just get trapped in our bodies. And we were get we, when we get buried, we, we were buried in our bodies. Like, we don't. Like, we're just sit Like, we're stuck in our bodies forever. And the ones that are ghosts are the ones that finally found a way out. And they're just roaming around. That's, That'd be nice to know. Yeah. But unlikely. Yeah, no, nah, I don't know. But actually, I got another ghost story to tell you about that was actually kind of creepy. So, like, you know you know imaginary friends, right? Did, did you, you did you have yeah, imaginary friends? Foster's for imaginary friends. No, not Foster's home, but, like, imaginary friends in general. Like, when no, you was kids. No, I didn't kids. have an imaginary friend. No, nah, I didn't either. But supposedly there was a girl, right, in the early 2000s. She was living, I forgot where she was living at, but her and her family was living in the crib. And she always used to tell her parents, like, yeah, I have an imaginary friend. She lives in the basement. And then she's like, oh, okay, that's cool. Let's say her name's Catherine. That's cool, Catherine. You know, why don't you tell your friend to come upstairs? She's like, no, she can't leave the basement. And then her parents are like, okay, that's cool, whatever. And her parents always used to say, like, they never used to not, like, go, they didn't like going to the basement because it was so dark and, like, little mysterious looking. But they didn't really think of, of it because she was, like, six, whatever. So she used to, like, she told like she's older now, but she used to tell a story like, yeah, I used to go into the basement and talk to my imaginary friend and tell her like, why don't you come to school with me? She always and their friend always used to say, I can't leave the basement, right? 
So now she grows up. She's she moves out of the house. She's married. Uh, this and third. She goes into a new house, and her parents move out of the house also. Like they're all retired or whatever. And somebody moves in. So now they get a phone call. The girl gets a phone call. She's like, the it's a it's the new family that moved into the crib. They're like, oh, uh, you're the new you're the old homeowners, right? Did you guys ever notice there was a hidden door in the basement? And there was like, she was like, what are you talking about? She was like, we're doing, oh, well, we're doing renovations, renovations in the basement. And we found like a hidden like hallway with a door behind it. And they was like, no, nah, I didn't know there was a door like and nothing about it. Cause we didn't like going down there. But she said they found two dead bodies. They found a, a body of a man and a body of a little girl wearing a white dress. So when she heard that, she was like, hold on. Maybe that was the, her imaginary friend that she's seen all her life. She was talking to a dead body? She was talking to a dead body. Get the fuck out of here. Because I'm <laughs> like... <laughs> Ain't I, no way. Uh, bro, imagine that. But like, she was a kid though. So imagine, that's what I'm saying. Ghosts probably just pertain to little kids, which sounds crazy. It's not, specific. I'm saying their brains are not developed yet. They're not going to be scared. Like if we see something, we're going to be scared as hell. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. If a kid sees it, they're going to be like, they don't know what it is. They don't know what to think about it. But ghosts are like, let's not peak ghost intelligence here. Like, I'm going to aim for the kids and dogs. <laughs> I mean, you know. I don't know, man. I just, I think, and I think what happened was, I think, like, it was, like, a father and her daughter. Maybe, like, a kid got abducted, and the guy killed the kid and then killed himself. Which is kind of sick. It is sick, but very possible. It's just, like, with everything that's going on, we have so much proof of literally everything that exists on this planet. Why is that, like, one of the only things we've never had any proof of? I mean, maybe they just not looking. Maybe it's like there's like shows dedicated to ghost hunting. Nah, I'm not gonna lie. Some of those shows, I really, I don't really believe are in a fucking lot of those. mid. Yeah, a bro, lot of those shows, over because, there gassing. But I, I kind of follow a lot with. Um, I rather look, like watch the shows on YouTube, like the stuff that we do, then we post yeah. on YouTube. Because I remember I was watching this one video. It was like a guy who went into like the suicide forest in Japan, and he said like he got footage of mad crazy stuff. Yeah, Logan Paul. No, nah, it wasn't local. Paul's another kidding, dude. No, nah, you remember that that whole instance, bro? I do. That was crazy, bro. He almost. Yeah, that's why I said it. Oh my gosh, bro! Imagine what his life. I mean, I mean, he's still after that whole situation. He still kind of came up off of that. He bounced back. Yep. Yeah. Imagine he publicity he, stunt. Yeah, that was od though. But I just think they're just. I don't know with the whole. I'm another. I'm leaning. I'm starting to lean to the to the side where I will see it to believe it because one, we really haven't seen much, especially. Even in the Clinton Road thing, we've seen something. We've seen that one thing, but after that, we really didn't see much. Which, again, we would never know what it is. But when it, if it happens to me, then I'm gonna be on this pod talking about yeah, the whole experience. Y'all gonna hear from from me first. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but because that's od, that's too crazy, bro. But you got anything else you want to say before we end the pod, my brother? Um, just on that topic, I was thinking about literally in my car, just driving, thinking about it. Yeah. Because I was listening to scary stories. Mm-hmm. Why are basements scary? What makes basements scary? I feel like we made basements scary. You know, us as a as a as a race, we're like, oh man, basements are scary, so everybody just grew up with the notation that they were. But what if we said kitchens were scary? I mean, you want wouldn't want to go in the kitchen. You want to say technically basements are like like six feet under, just like how the dead bodies be. If you yeah, want to be, I mean, come on. If you want to be, I mean, come on. Like technically, you never know. I mean, it's mo- it's honestly mostly basements and attics. I don't know why. Maybe that's just where it's because we made it scary. I don't think it's because they're actually scary. You think so? Like, yeah. like as in like people made it like a norm. Like, oh, this is just it yeah. looks scary, and yeah. then like movies and stuff. Yeah, I, I kind of believe that because honestly, like especially when you're a kid, like you're always you always see scary stuff about basements. So like at an early age, you'd be like, dang, this looks so scary. I don't want to go down there, and you just start like building up the fear of like yeah nah these basement they get like i remember my cousin right he used to when he used to live in his old crib he had a basement but he had like you know there's basements and then they have like the the little cellar room where all the the appliances and stuff were so the he had the basement and then there was the cellar room that had no lights in it and on everything i love there was nothing in there but i used to always think there was something in there and the doors open up and it used to creep me the hell out but i just felt like just the way it looks maybe 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 it's just because it's so dimly lit and it's always dark yeah. in there maybe it always pertain people always pertain to basements, but other than that, I really don't I really don't know. So I don't know. That's actually a good question. They always talk about basements and attics as being the scariest places, but hey man, it could be in your own room, bro. You mm-hmm. never know, bro. But before we end the podcast, I want to shout out to all of our Patreon subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed on Patreon, subscribe down below. I'm gonna put all the links in the description. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I didn't even get to thank you, man. Thank you again for pulling up, brother. Thank you for inviting me. Don't worry, bro. You're going to be back. I thought you, Jason had Free a little. Me, dude. 
Jason was a little busy, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Saving our country from light, yeah. light bulbs. <laughs> but so subscribe to our Patreon. Like I said, we got $3 tier, $5 tier, and $10 tiers. You know what I'm saying? There's going to be a lot more Patreon episodes going, especially since it's the summertime. So tune into that. So first off, we're going to sh- shout out to our free subscribers. We got Jalen Strong, Rob Quash, Cal, Na, The Shield. Uh, I'm sorry if I'm saying these names wrong. Isabel Graham, Leak, DJ Wills, Ramon Padilla, Alyssa Smith, Laquell Ingram. Shout out to you, Laquell, my dude from Harlem. Uh, Tyrone Bones, Corey Petty, King Fry, and to or well, not yet. And now we got our second round steals with people who's in the five dollar tier. We got DJ Khalid, Leland Poole, Muhammad, and Tamia. And finally, the sole person who is in our lottery pick ten dollar tier list, we have Tavon Cox, bro. Shout out to you, pause. It's C O X, people. Don't be weird. <laughs> So shout out to y'all for subscribing on Patreon. Like I said, there's going to be more episodes on Patreon. If you're subscribed to the $5 tier, you get two free episodes. If you're subscribed to the $10 tier, you get three or more every month. Come on, people. It's literally, you guys watch Netflix every day. You guys subscribe to Netflix and all these dumbass accounts. Why don't you just subscribe to us, bro? But you know what I'm saying? You got any last words for them, Jason? Um, we did it. We did it. No, um, <laughs> nothing, bro. Stay blessed. Stay positive. Have fun, man. Yes, sir. We different than regular regs, man. Gangsta. <laughs> Yeah, I already go get it. Yeah, I go already go get it.
What's your top five snacks? Peach rings. Crunch. Crunch bars? You're so fucking good. But it's so, like, basic. Like, it's literally just chocolate nah. and crunch. Cr- I can make you a crunch bar right now. No, you cannot. I literally... You should be fucking ass-packed. What do you mean? But, uh, <laughs> I can literally make you a yeah, crunch bar. I have to think. 